Hello everyone, welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes hard mode. I feel like I have to emphasize that. Since the last episode, one thing I realized is that this game puts you back at the hub if you quit and reload. It doesn't start you in the same place as Dark Souls does, but it doesn't matter. I mean, the items are picked up. Uh, we can move on as intended. Yeah, once again, it's been a couple of days. <coughs> Damn. Ellen, DeGeneres. Sorry, sorry, root mother, subway, whatever. Listen. I know what I have to do. So yeah, the reason I skipped two days without videos, I think two days. Yeah. I thought I was getting better. And I wasn't. You know, I was, uh, I had a cold, but it wasn't like I was actually sick, you know. You know that kind of stage of the cold, I'm sure all of you have had colds, where you don't feel anything, like you're not, you're not outwardly sick in any way, but... My issue was, I had a hell of a blocked nose. And you know, in a voice medium, such as YouTube, uh, sounding like an idiot is not the best thing. And I sounded like an idiot. I sounded like this. Uh, and, and it's bad, like because obviously your nose is blocked. You're literally a mouth breather uh, without the, you know, the negative connotations of the phrase. You're actually a mouth breather. And it's just, it ain't it, chief, you know. That's all I can say. It ain't it. What a bitch. Got shotgunned. Tome of Knowledge. Knowledge. So this is how this game goes. Uh, you have these tomes of knowledge and they are the skill points. They are the levels. So you don't gain levels in this game traditionally. I mean, you can get uh, trait points uh, just by fighting. You're eventually going to level up. But it ain't like... I didn't know that trophy existed. It must be like something... Uh, you need to destroy a lot of crates, and I think cross playthroughs count, maybe. Anyways. So we're gonna be exploring the city. This is area one. Uh, and we will see what we bump into. This definitely is different than the first time I played it. So, again, I talked about this game's randomization mechanic. Uh, it does have that this mechanic, kind of like Bloodborne Chalice Dungeons, in that certain things are gonna be fixed in the level. You know, kind of like more set piece like areas. But some of the in between zones and the way they are arranged is going to be randomized which is pretty cool I think that's a neat idea if it can be pulled off again the trade-off god I wish I had a grenade right now you know did I talk about that I'm playing Doom I must have talked about it I'm playing Doom 2016 uh, on a hard mode on PC because I'm like going through a first person shooter phase uh, fueled by Call of Duty not Call of Duty, uh, by Halo, I'm stupid I do like Call of Duty though as well, the campaigns just as a bit of fun, you know but you know, that game is Doom is fucking insane I played through that game on normal, but it's so much more fun on hard. 
uh, or ultra violence or whatever it's called. But you know, just like the sheer amount of weapons is awesome. You know, just switching through the weapon. I think that game has one of the best FPS combat loops ever. You know, the constantly having to go for ammo, the switching your weapons, the variety of enemies. It's awesome. I, I really should get Doom Eternal. I am gonna get Doom Eternal. Whether I'm gonna play it on... Oh, shit. Oh, because we have to circle around. Yeah. Whether I'm gonna play it on the channel, I don't know. I might. What a bitch is. Oh, shit, you have a lot of HP. I know who that is. It's like that annoying ranged dude, yeah. It's Gwendolyn, basically. Did I just get killed? I just got killed like a motherfucker. Damn. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, this is hard mode. I should I should be just a tiny bit more careful. Honest thing is dying actually carries fairly little penalty in this game. Aside from throwing you back in checkpoints, uh I don't think you actually lose anything else I could be wrong but I seem to remember dying sometimes fairly frequently oh, this isn't looking good. and a much happened But that might be, you know, like a misconception. I know where I fucked up, though. I fucked up because I went for... I got tunnel vision and I went for the dude. The... Gwendolyn type attack dude. That's what I call... I don't know their names. I don't know the enemy names. But he basically has, like... Um, a crossbow or some shit like that. So whatever. Yeah, the reason I started thinking about Doom is because I just thought about the grenade. If I had like a grenade or something. Which you don't actually have in this game. HP One thing you do have to be careful of is the auto lock on in this game. Sometimes it it snaps to the wrong target which is fairly annoying. Okay, nice. One where he's gonna tell you to. Cool. So those are the, like the quote unquote more difficult enemies. They are not that difficult. Fuck, how do you do the weapon mod? I just said it. There we go. Oh, I was full. F fuck, I was at full health. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I had to test it, didn't I? So, anyways, there's definitely a checkpoint somewhere. 
Ah, because I saw it. The little indicator. Oh, fuck. Oh, this dude. I remember you. And this guy's armored on his head. It's all good though. Iframes are fairly generous in this game. Yeah. Luminite crystal. That's used for, I think, uh, like special weapons. Did you see that? That dodge was kind of crazy. Oh man, this game is satisfying. And you know, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, some crazy idiot has of course made a gun mod for fucking Dark Souls as well, Dark Souls 3 specifically. It's now possible to play through Dark Souls 3 using a gun. Uh, that's pretty cool, you gotta admit. Shit. Okay, we are in trouble. I think this might cure it. No, 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 it doesn't. I know what cures it. Uh, this should keep me at bay, though. Yeah, the bleeding in this game is pretty rough. Uh, it, it's almost more like poison. In that it lasts for a hell of a long time. So you gotta be like really, really careful. Uh, there is an item that makes it go away. Bandages. So we... We gotta get some of that. We gotta get some of that, some of that. Alright. I don't remember how the healing works in this game. I think it's... Uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was thinking of where the fuck the counter is. But it turns out I'm just blind. Okay, so... There's a chance I'm in trouble. Because of this bleeding. I swear, do I not have... No, I don't. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. What up? Listen, what I'm gonna do is I still have my charged heal. I'm gonna keep this shit for as long as I can. And then just pop this bitch when telling me. I know this ain't good. Okay. Now this really ain't good. Uh gotta make a This is only a tactical retreat, don't worry about it. Ah, <sighs> Did I seriously get offed? Shit. Well, okay, maybe the, maybe this hard mode is more difficult than I remember. Um Let me check if the extra anything actually happens when you die. Okay. We are going to definitely pump up our vigor. 
learning from the events that have previously occurred so anyways this game how stats work is you start off with this uh, and then it expands there's actually a lot of stats are like things you can put stat points into those are what stats are but it kind of like expands as you go along which is a pretty nice pretty neat idea that third stat spirit I've never found a use for it so I ain't gonna put shit into that vigor endurance are good to go as always But man, I gotta fucking get rid of this machine gun. Not this machine gun, this sh this shotgun. Uh, I want like a, I want like a machine gun. That's why I had, I had machine gun on my mind. That's what I want as a weapon. As a main weapon, and they do exist in this game. So we will see. But you know, the RNG Jesus which is a Binding of Isaac term has to be kind to you in this game just so that you get the right boss who has like the drop you need shit Don't worry, I got this under control. Told you I have this under control. Headshots only. That's how we do it. One just die. Thank you. I always forget I have melee. I should use it. Well, you know, this game is intense like this. Fuck, healing is slow. Because that's what I mainly remember uh, from playthrough 1, is that aside from a couple of challenging bosses, there were some, uh, in particular, you know, thinking back to playthrough 1, the final boss might be an issue here, because the final boss of this game is mad annoying. Come on, bitch. Fuck. Shouldn't have dissed him. Luckily, there is no enemy healing. So don't gotta be worried about that. Man, this game is sick. I'm playing all shooters now. Um, well, except for the game I'm gonna be streaming from tomorrow. I already kind of spoiled it, didn't I? I guess... Listen, I don't know how interested in general people are in this playthrough, watching me. I mean, the first episode did okay, but if you're watching this, 
I'm gonna let you in in a little ultra secret. I'm going to tell you what my stream is gonna be tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm actually back streaming. That's the that's the main message. But the secondary message is, is that I'm playing Dark Souls. Not just any Dark Souls playthrough. This is going to be muy picante of a Dark Souls playthrough. I saw a sick challenge run, courtesy of Reddit. It's called the Master of None challenge. Basically the idea is that you have to kill a boss with every weapon category in the game. And by weapon category I mean like knives, uh, short swords, long swords, curved swords, katanas, etc, etc, fucking hell, etc, etc, etc. I think that is a really interesting challenge. However, the spice doesn't end there. I decided to e make it even more difficult on myself. And I've checked this and I think it can be done. I think it's possible. I am going to also force myself to keep my stats perfectly in balance as well. So what I mean by that is if I level up vitality I then have to level up endurance, strength, dex, attunement, whatever go through the whole line and then when I've leveled everything else I can go back and level up my vitality again. Again, it should be possible to do this because every weapon category in the game has some weapons which are fairly uh, low in terms of stats. The things I'm worried about are well, miracles because miracles are the only offensive one is like emit force or some shit like that and those are not the best ones and the lowest stat ones so we'll see we'll see that's the challenge I'm gonna call it total balance uh, it should be it should be an interesting one we'll see if it's it's actually possible or I was just tripping and it's not because really when you think about it a weapon like the Zweihander I think you need like 16 strength to two hand it I'm definitely gonna leave the heavy weapons to last I mean that's just I think obvious so that's it that's what my little brain came up with Mainly because I've been wanting to play Dark Souls OG and I just didn't have anything to, you know, consider as a challenge run. I thought of redoing the level 1 challenge, but, or like the no base level challenge or whatever, but. It's not actually that difficult, you know, because of reinforced club. Especially in Dark Souls Remastered. Ouch. Fuck you. I like how this guy commentates everything. That's one of the things I like about this game that your dude talks and you know he's pretty well composed 
for what he's doing, which is killing a bunch of monsters. Okay, here we are. This is dungeon number one. Uh, we are going to do this dungeon. I think we have to do this dungeon, right? I think so. But before that, there's something more important, which is a checkpoint. Checkpoints are really where it's at, you know. Man, I'm itching about that Dark Souls playthrough. I think this this should be a really good one. Uh, and you know, obviously, gotta mention the caveat that if it turns out that it's not possible to do it with, um, yeah, yeah, with the stat limitation, I'm just gonna keep myself to the weapon limitation. We should be okay though. Still. <sighs> Gotta go back. Level up. Not even level up, but... You know. Weapon up, more like. Oh man, this game has insane load times as well. Just like fucking... Mortal Shell. Can't wait for the PS5. Hopefully load times are gonna be... Much quicker. Apparently... People who have like deep dived into PS5 stats say that it's fairly powerful, so I'm happy about that. I'm a little bit conflicted currently whether I should pre-order it or not. I mean, it's a lot of money to put down uh, for something that's like a month and a half away. Uh, let's talk to him, make conversation. I get to talk about the PS5 until then. So, that's one of the things. The other thing is, if I consider what I'm doing here, here on YouTube, I should, I should get it, but you know. I don't know. I don't know. The thing I'm scared about is, you know, I would wait until Christmas, but... It's probably going to be sold out, you know. There is this rumor, and it might be just a rumor, that they made less PS5s for Europe. Especially Eastern Europe. So, I don't know. And then, there's, then again, there's Demon Souls. I don't know why I'm talking to this guy like this, but whatever. So that's my opinion on the PS5. And, you know, I thought about, or I know about the digital and the non-digital version. Like, it's still worth getting the CD one, because it balances out, I think, the price of it. Okay, definitely upgrade this. I see the question is... Oh, hunting rifle... Shotgun. Shit, it doesn't sell. Interesting. Hero sword. Oh, that's DLC. Okay. Fuck that. Yeah, let's get the coach gun upgraded. Uh, upgrade materials are fairly... Uh, common in this game. So, don't worry about, you know, not having scrap or something later on for another weapon. This ain't that type of game. Okay, hot shot and ammunition deals fire. Okay, see, I did spend my shit here. Yeah, whatever. There's one thing we need. I haven't forgotten. It's on my mind. Hey there, friend. We want names written on oh yeah. Apparently I didn't talk to this guy. If you're looking for a fix to what ails you, I'm your guy. More if you just want to swap stories. I'm good for that too. Oh, don't 
That's what I do. Running and shooting. Pretty sure it doesn't matter what you say there. I like his <laughs> gestures, his little gestures. All right. Let's see what you got. This dude is hella useful because he sells this. I definitely need bandages for the bleed. Who the hell is this? This guy wasn't here before. Got no speech. Whispers. This is definitely new. This guy wasn't here the first time I played through the game. Bring glowing fragments. He looks like that dude from Borderlands. Okay, so he sells he sells armor. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. He sells DLC, apparently. Alright. Nice. Bye. Huh. Well, I mean, this game has been upgraded a few times since then. So, I ain't... I ain't complaining. Oh, I have the card, don't I? The access card. Oh, yeah, and for her, yeah, you can sell... You can sell shit to her. But I'm pretty sure it's not worth it. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Next time around, I'm kind of tempted to go down here, but I'm pretty sure there's like some high level enemies here. We're going to go to the dungeon before that. Uh, yeah. This dude is pretty interesting. Good thing about the armor. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Like this episode. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope you stick around for tomorrow's stream as well. Hope I got your interests up. That's all I can hope for. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And peace out. Goodbye.